morning to my students from uh, grade 12 STEM and grade 12 TVL. I hope you are doing great as of this point in time and uh, I am hoping that you are uh, doing great especially in accomplishing your modules uh, that was uh, delivered to you by your uh, very energetic and patient barangay officials Yun. energetic so I hope you still have the enough energy to watch this video and to help you learn more and discover more with regards to our lesson once again uh, i welcome you to our uh, virtual uh, discussion on our topic on contemporary art forms in the philippines first allow me to uh, introduce to you the learning com competencies of our topic number one competency describes various contemporary art forms and their practices from the various regions so contemporary art forms practices from the various regions kung iisipin mo paano how diba so medyo Malabo pa sa inyo ng konte pero later on as we uh, go through our lesson, uh, mabibigyan ko kayo ng idea so that uh, you will have uh, an overview with regards to the contemporary art forms and practices from the different uh, places in the Philippines. Uh, competency number two is discuss various art forms found in the Philippines. So, ano-ano yung mga iba't ibang art forms na matatagpuan natin sa iba't ibang lugar ng Pilipinas. Yan. So, particularly in uh, Ilocos or Region 1. So, ano-ano yung mga idea nyo when it comes to uh, various art forms na makikita natin particularly here in region 1 hindi man natin to madidiscuss in uh, one uh, sitting discussion but all throughout our lesson during uh, all throughout the semester uh, magkakaroon tayo ng tour magkakaroon tayo ng tour all throughout the Philippines para ma-discuss natin or ma-discover natin kung ano-ano yung mga different art forms na makikita natin sa iba't ibang panig ng Pilipinas. Okay? So, let's continue. And So, kung meron learning competencies, meron din naman tayong, tayong uh, learning objectives. So, yung learning objectives, ito yung expected na mamaster, na mamamaster ninyo after ninyong mapanood tong video na to. Ma-accomplish yung mga activity na binigay sa inyo through your modules. So, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to define art and contemporary art. Yeah. Number two, identify the major contemporary art forms in the Philippines. Describe the contemporary art forms in the Philippines. Describe their practices from the various regions. And number five, learners will broaden and acquire the necessary creative tools that open opportunities in pursuing their individual careers career goals and aspiration so let us now start with our topic so what is art arts is very is a very unique uh, subject so since na nasa senior high school na kayo i am hoping and expecting that all of you has his or her own uh, definition with regards to arts so basically art is states that it is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination producing works to be appreciated 
appreciated primarily for the beauty for their beauty or emotional power so i cannot think of any other best definition of arts other than this definition so it is an expression or application of human creative skill imagination that was produced and it is being appreciated because of its beauty or it has a very strong emotion hindi lang sana mako-confine yung ating notion na ang arts ay kasi pag arts kasi ang very associated sa word na arts ay drawing painting hindi po so i am hoping and expecting that after this discussion your uh, knowledge with regards to arts will uh, broaden Ma dahil ang arts ay napakalawak po ang sakop nito from the past up to this moment yung present and into the future so malawak po yung sakop ibig sabihin uh, as we go through our life at uh, magde-develop at magde-develop po ang arts and I believe that all of us has that uh, creative skill and imagination. Lahat tayo yung imahinasyon natin. Meron, meron tayong mga mapaglarong imahinasyon. At para maging bahagi ng sining ang ating imahinasyon, kinakailangan natin itong uh, iproduce through, uh, through sa pamamagitan ng produkto or uh, performance and of course kung uh, nasa imagination mo pa lang yan yung mapaglaro mong creative imagination nasa isip mo pa lang yan hindi pa, hindi pa yan consider na art consider lamang na arts yan when it comes to production meaning kailangan mong iproduce para ma-appreciate at para maipahiwatig mo ang mensahe, ang inyong uh, longings, ang inyong feelings para ma-appreciate ito ng ma mga tao. So, all we need to do is to convert our creative imaginations into a product or performance. Why? Dahil uh, para maka-influence and maka-inspire tayo ng mga tao. Dahil most of the people, lahat naman ng klase ng tao, ay they really appreciate arts. But take note, arts is not, does not only confine on a particular subject. Mostly, mostly sa inyo, consider nyo na ang arts drawing may associate nyo lang ang arts sa drawing or painting hindi Do, uh, that is totally wrong napakalawak po ang sakop ng arts or sining ayan class kapag sinabi nating arts dahil ang sinabi ko kanina hindi lang siya naka uh, confined sa paintings or drawings it is a form of creative activity such as painting, music, literature, and dance. Tanggalin na natin yung connotation na ang arts is only associated with paintings or drawing. Although part siya ng arts, meron pang tinatawag na big picture when it comes to arts. It's not only for the product but it is also a form of performance. So, napakalawak ang mundo ng sining. That, like for example, masasabi natin na isang sining ang isang kanta or musika, lalong-lalo na kung ito ay uh, galing sa malikhaing, napakamalikhaing imahinasyon, masasabi rin natin na sining ang isang uh, literatura sa pamamagitan ng pagsusulat ng mga creative uh, writing just like for example 
in news reporting at masasabi rin natin na isang sining or art kapag ang ating mga galaw ay umiindak or sa pamamagitan ng pagsasayaw. So, tandaan nyo class, napakalawak ang sakop or napakalawak ang mundo ng sining at hindi lang po siya nakakonfine sa drawing at painting. Ayan, so, pag sinabi natin na ethnic art, ito yung tinatawag natin na it is integral to life. Karakteristik ng ethnic era is that the lo location, the experiences of the Filipinos, yun yung pinakapangunahin na factors para makapag-produce sila ng arts. So, that's why it is integral to life. And then, there came a uh, geometric uh, Islamic art in which uh, they, they introduced to us uh, geometrical designs. And so, medyo nagkakaroon na konti ng technicalities when it comes to art productions. And there came Spanish era in which uh, we were under the Span Spanish rule for more than three centuries, 300 years, in which they introduced to us religion particularly Catholicism that's why our country the Philippines is the most number Christian country in uh, Southeast Asia compared to our neighboring Southeast Asian countries na mga uh, Islam mga Muslim ang Pilipinas ang pinakamalaking Kristyanong bansa sa Southeast Asia it's all because we were under Spanish rule for more than three centuries or 300 years. And then after Spanish era, there came uh, American era in which they introduced secularization. And then after uh, American era, there came uh, Japanese era. They introduced to us uh, continental arts. There came that leads to our modernization on art that leads us to create our national identity in the field of arts. Nagkaroon na yung mga Pilipino ng uh, enough na techniques or skills in creating uh, or in producing arts para ma-introduce ma rin nila ang kanilang mga uh, hinaing or yung mga feelings sa mga tao. And then, there, that led to the creation or the uh, the creation of contemporary era. In which, yung contemporary era is nag-start siya during 1960s up to this present. So, that leads to our discussion on our definition about contemporary arts. What is contemporary art? So, contemporary art is the art that springs out of the present-day events and passions of the society. So, ano-ano yung mga important words na makikita natin sa definition ng contemporary art? Ah, naroon, na, nandoon yung tinatawag na present-day events. Yan. And passions of the society. So, please uh, don't be confused on the definition of modern art and contemporary art dahil uh, namimis sa uh, concept namimis understand natin na ang na produce na arts during these present times ay they are, they are considered as modern art hindi po ang modern art ay those art that was produced during 1800s, 1850s to 1950s. And following that era, the modern art, yan ay yun na yung contemporary era. During 1960s up to this point in time. Sana hindi natin na sasabihin na yung mga arts na na-produce ngayon ay modern. Hindi po. Ang mga arts po na, na, na produce as of this point in time 
and in the coming uh, time ay considered as contemporary art at hindi lang yun class and contemporary art is is the newest form of art that is amusing people from the late 1970s 1960s or early 1970s up to this very minute another definition of contemporary art is that it has become a collaborative process and the audience plays an active role of in reacting and constructing meaning about the work of art so ang contemporary arts po ay hindi po siya natutulad noong sa, sa mga sinaunang sining na ang mensahe nito ay umiikot lamang sa artist ang contemporary arts po it is a collaborative process in which tayo ay uh, meron mahalagang uh, ginagampanan para mabigyan ng meaning ang isang work na ng meaning ng isang artwork. Another important definition of contemporary arts is that contemporary works of art are the means through which the artists of today communicate their sentiments. Kaya nga, kapag sinabi natin contemporary arts, hindi ito tungkol sa tungkol lamang sa disenyo. Yun yung mga important characteristics ng contemporary arts. Kumbaga, ang contemporary arts, mer- wala siyang limit. So, I hope uh, meron kayong uh, tutunan uh, with regards to the definition, characteristics of contemporary arts. And at this point in time, in the Philipp- contemporary Philippine arts, There are seven major art forms in contemporary arts. Number one is visual, visual arts. Or ito yung mga dif- examples of arts na ma-appreciate natin because nakikita natin. Yan, example is sculpture, painting, yun. Yun yung mga tinatawag natin na visual arts. Next, literature. Yan. So, literature, ito yung mga creative writing, the way we create poems, the way uh, an artist uh, express his, her, his or her emotion in the form of writing. Those are considered literature. Another one is music. Theater. Yan. So, stage play. Yan. Mga theater. Dance. Just like hip-hop. Uh, folk dances, architecture, yun yung mga, mga buildings na may mga intricate designs na architecture at saka yung film. Makikita natin na there are seven major art forms. I believe na ang major ang seven major art forms ay nasa inyong modules. Kindly uh, go over sa kanilang uh, definition na lang. And if you have uh, questions With regards to the seven major art forms, don't uh, hesitate to message me on our group chat. Maraming salamat. At I hope that you have learned a lot from this video. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. And I will be uploading a tons of video lessons for you to have more ideas, clarifications with regards to our lesson. Na, 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 baterya, na. So I hope to see you soon again on our video lesson. You expect that that we will create a Facebook page in which it, this will be an avenue for you to uh, uh, express your creative imaginations or creative skills. And so magko iko convert ninyo yung mga con uh, creative uh, imaginations ninyo through producing your own uh, masterpiece whether it be through uh, painting, music, dance or literature yan sa mga mahilig magsulat this will be a time for you to this will be your time to shine yan so i know na lahat kayo meron kayong mga Uh, creative imaginations it is time for you to show it up 
in our lesson on contemporary Philippine arts. Okay, so that's it. And please uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa mga susunod ko na video. I-like nyo na rin at mag-comment at i-share ang video na to para makatulong sa mga uh, estudyante, particularly on uh, grade 12 students in uh, senior high school. Maraming maraming salamat at see you again on my next video. Bye!